Turn now to the prestige behind an award given to only one student per state each year. This year, a Bakersfield student claimed that huge achievement. 23 ABC's Kristen Varton spoke to the student and has more on their huge accomplishment. You could say that Centennial High School senior Kimberly Jensen is one in a million because when you think about how many students are in California, being the one selected for a national award is a pretty big deal. And she says with all her accolades that she's really proud but still in shock. Definitely screamed and came running down the hallway because my dad was teaching from home and I definitely interrupted his class. <laughs> If you're like Centennial High School senior Kimberly Jensen and just found out you'd be the recipient of the National World War II Museum's Billy Michael Student Leadership Award, which only goes to one student in each state, then you'd probably be screaming too. I hear her door open and she comes barreling down the hallway, squealing. So I just put my class on hold for a couple of minutes and they understood. Yeah, she was pretty happy. And her parents, Dan and Patty Jensen, are pretty proud as well. I never failed to be amazed by my kids. We've never pushed them, and you always hope your children do well, but you never dream either one of them will be as successful as they've been. According to the National World War II Museum, the award goes to a student who has shown a, quote, strong record of volunteerism, someone who has demonstrated school and community activism, and someone who has helped implement creative solutions to recognize problems. In addition to earning a 4.5 GPA during a pandemic, being co-president of three clubs and a mentor to her alma mater Endeavor Elementary School students on their History Day projects and their drama department, Kimberly is working to solve an issue on a national level. You expect to go through high school and be like, okay, let's survive high school, let's see what happens. And everything has just gone better than I could have possibly imagined it. Kimberly has been interning for the Ghost Army Legacy Project, which aims to preserve the legacy of a frontline deception unit during World War II, which she says was top secret until 1996. One of her main tasks, helping lobby Congress to pass a bill that would award the veterans of the Ghost Army a Congressional Gold Medal. I love making sure that we don't forget where we came from, because that's how we can keep moving forward in our life, is by looking back. And so I've just fallen in love with that idea of military and protecting the nation and keeping that alive which is actually um, part of what I want to do. I want to become a doctor for the Air Force. Now, the Jensen family did tell me she would be accepting her award virtually this year, but before that, they have to plan a graduation, and she's graduating first in her class. At Centennial High School, Kristen Varton, 23ABC News, connecting you.